So in today's video, we are taking up involuntary metrics topic from linear algebra. What do you mean by involuntary metrics? Basically, the metrics which involve self-inverse function. What do we mean by self-inverse function? When you have a matrix A and you find out inverse of it and you find out that A inverse is exactly that matrix only. So then we can say that A is an involuntary matrix. So if this is the condition, what else can be done? If you multiply both of the sides with A, what would you get? This will be A square equals I. So involuntary matrix can also be defined as a square matrix when multiplied by itself gives what? identity element okay let's say if you are asked that make a 2 by 2 involuntary matrix 2 by 2 order involuntary matrix so you can assume elements like this 2 by 2 order the condition for that matrix is that a square plus bc is 1 and d is always minus a you know, just like product and sum of roots, this is the condition. Also, remember about the properties of involuntary metrics. When we say involuntary metrics, so one property is that, that if you multiply it with itself, it will give you identity matrix or the inverse is equal to itself, right? Another property is that if you multiply them in any order that will be equal if a and b are two involuntary metrics that product is also an involuntary matrix also third property is that if you find out the determinant of that matrix it will always come out as one or minus one remember about this bit that because see product is actually the identity matrix so obviously that determinant will give you 1 or minus 1. So these are three properties. Another property is that if you find out that involuntary matrix is symmetric as well. Do you know symmetric matrix? When you take the transpose and you get the same matrix, that is the symmetric matrix. Okay? You know the transpose when you change rows and columns. Okay? And interchange your position. So, if you have an involuntary matrix A, that means following these conditions, then that symmetric involuntary matrix will also be an orthogonal matrix. I'll come to that point, what do you mean by orthogonal matrix? But this is one condition and vice versa is also same. Every orthogonal matrix is also symmetric involuntary matrix. Okay? And... Another property is that there is a relationship between idempotent and involuntary metrics. What is an idempotent matrix? That is also another video about that. You can check that out. So, if you have a matrix A as involuntary matrix, the relation is half B plus I. Here B is what? Idempotent matrix. This is the relation between an involuntary and idempotent matrix okay so a is involuntary matrix here if you have understood these matrices then question may be asked that prove that this is involuntary so or you know you can apply these properties to them let's take up some examples so this is one question when you have to check whether this matrix is involuntary or not I don't know why this uh, digital pen is not working that well because you can see the difference in the writing. But anyways, so this is the matrix and we have to check whether it is involuntary or not. So the definition itself says what? That the matrix is equal to its inverse, right? Now inverse of 3 by 3 order will take some time because that formula, you know, 1 by A determinant adjoint A 
either you have to apply that or you can use row transformation column transformation that is the long uh, way though you could have done that way also but if it is a short question you know a square is i so i think that is an easy path to follow so let's find out a square that is a into a if it is if it is coming out as identity matrix then we can say yes this is an involuntary matrix okay so this is a this is a multiply them up okay so first row first column two to the four and minus three first row second column so this will give you zero only why are you getting what I'm trying to say? First row, first column, and you have to add all these elements. So 2 to the 4 plus 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. That's way. So first row, second column. 2 times 0 is 0. 0, min zero multiply minus 1 is 0. 1, 0 is a 0. Then sec first row, third column. So 2, 1 is a 2. And this will be 0 and minus 2. Then second row, first column. So 0, 0, 0. Second row, second column. 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1 is 1. And 0 times 0 is 0. Second row, third column. 0, 0, 0. Third row, first column. Minus 3 to the 6. So first row, uh, we are doing third row, first column. Minus 6 and plus this is again plus 6 now minus 6 plus 6 right third row second column so this is 0 this is 0 0 and minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 plus 4 so you can see the shape of this matrix 4 minus 3 is 1 0 1 0 so this is identity matrix hence this because a square is i that means matrix is equal to its inverse that means the matrix is involuntary matrix right all right moving on to the next question because one of the one of its properties is determinant has to have this value one or minus one so let's find out its determinant whether it is because it is an involuntary matrix of course its determinant will be Either, the, either of these two values so we are taking a first row so 2 if I am keeping this 2 what I am going to get first row first column you have to hide so plus 2 minus 0 just leave 0 1 that is minus 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 yes we got it now next up if you have to just like I said that you have to give the involuntary matrix of order 2 by 2. How would I do that? So we just studied about this concept that if we have a 2 by 2 order matrix, let's say any of these elements as A, B, C, D, then the condition has to be A squared plus B, C equal 1 and D has to be minus A. So if it is a squared plus bc is equal to 1, can you think of any values, any random values of a? Because there can be many where a, b, c are satisfying these and then we will find out d with the help of a. So let's say if I take a as 3, so 3 squared is 9. I want this a as minus 8, then only I can get 1. No? So let's keep them 4 into minus 2. So 3 squared is 9 plus 4 into minus 2 that is 1 so it is satisfying this condition so d will be minus a that is minus 3 so hence if you check all those properties you will find this that yes this is an involuntary matrix okay i'm hoping that this concept and the properties of involuntary matrix are very much clear to you and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.